Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Baha Wachachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as Be Spiritual. What does it mean? Be Spiritual. What does it mean? All right. And when a brother say be spiritual, it is to be spiritual. All right. And we're going to get some scriptures out you know uh lord wellness lesson is that a fine so when a brother tells you to be spiritual all right we're t he's talking about um being of the spirit of yahweh being spiritual all right not carnal because you got a lot of jakes out here they don't walk in the spirit you know they walk according to the flesh and you know walking according to the flesh can put you in a bad uh result of a bad situation all right, this is uh, John chapter 6 and verse 63. This is John chapter 6 and verse 63. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. See, it is the spirit that quickeneth, but the flesh profiteth nothing. All right, the flesh profiteth nothing. All right, so when the elders and apostles of Great Millstone or the sincere brothers out there, when they say be spiritual, all right, it's spiritual you know, they're saying, um, you know, it's talking about being of the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. All right, because the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai dwelleth in the scriptures. All right, if a fight breaks out, all right, and a brother say be spiritual, he's telling you to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Not everyone can, can be spiritual. That's the problem. You know, you got uh, a lot of these other uh, Israelite groups, they're, they're very militant. You know, and they try to conduct themselves according to the flesh, not according to the scriptures. All right. Just for example, you had a group that went to the hoods to teach. And just like what other apostle Gabar said in this lesson. See, that's what happens when you don't follow the instructions according to the scriptures, because the scriptures has instructions for us to uh, abide by to to uh, be how to be an example of something. Right. So the scriptures even say, be that example to the believers. So. You got to you got to follow the instructions of the scriptures. It says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. See, so you got to walk in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So when a brother tell you be spiritual, that's what it means. You got to follow the instructions given. The 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 spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is in the scriptures. All right, it dwells in the scriptures. All right, and I got a precept this is John 12 and um, verse 49. This is John 12 and 49. In Salakia, brothers. Because I'll be <laughs> missing the scriptures, so that's why I highlight them. This is John 12 and 49. It says, For I say not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, right? What I should, what, what, what I should say and what I should speak. All right? And this is uh, Yahweh Shai speaking. All right. So let's read that again. This is what Yahweh Shai said. Verse 49. For I have not spoken of myself, but the father which sent me. He gave me a commandment. What I should say and what I should speak. And that's the thing. This is why we got a uh, Yahweh Shai was a perfect example for us on how to be uh, in, the, in the ministry. Verse 50. It says, and I knew that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Right? So everything Yahweh Shai have said was given to him by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So we Yahweh Shai was a perfect example for us to be. Alright? Yahweh Shai was that perfect example. Alright, and there's a um let me, let me, uh, I don't know if I can be able to get it. Let me see if I can get it on here. If not, I'll, I'll go, go to the, uh, um, 
There it is. John 13 and um 15. See? Yahweh Shai was that perfect example. This is John 13, 15. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done. And this is the Messiah speaking. All right. And let me read this. Let me read down too. This is uh, John 13, 15. This is what the Messiah said. This is why we got to follow the instructions given. All right. This is John 13, 15. For I have, for I have, have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is greater than uh, he that sent him. Talking about Yahweh Shai, right? If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. See? So again, you got to read from the top. Yahweh Shai was the perfect example. All right? He was the perfect example. He was not, Yahweh Shai was not carnal. All right? Right? The Lord was spiritual. He was spiritual minded. He didn't use the sword. All right. He didn't do any of that. He walked in the spirit. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. So Yahweh Shai was letting him know he is that example. And we are to follow that example. All right. Of, Yah of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All right. That's the main point in, in, in this truth. All right. So again, when, when brothers say. Um, you know, be in the spirit, all right, you got to come in the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Mashai, all right, you can't come in the spirit with carnality, with emotions, you know, with, with a with a militant attitude, that's not, that's not being a man of the Lord, all right, that's just being militant, you know, being carnal, and that can, again, that can put you in a bad situation, you know, we're trying to avoid conflict, all right, we got to be, uh, what's that scripture? Uh, wise as a serpent and harmless as doves, right? That's how we got to be in the, in the ministry, man. You can't be coming into this thing, you know, militant. That's not, that's not a good example. It says Psalms 119 and uh, 93. Psalms 119 and 93. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. See, so this is why. You know, um, we apply the scriptures to us. So the precepts in this book, all right, in these scriptures, it gets quickened, all right? Quickened means enlightened, all right? So we have spiritual life that gets open. So this is why, again, like the scriptures say in uh, Psalms 119.9, how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking their, uh, taking their heed according to thy word, if I'm not mistaken, which is, uh, hopefully I, I said it right, let me. Get that too. Here it is. Psalms 119 and 9. It says, With all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So the word is what cleanses us. The word is, is, is what quickeneth, man. And that word quicken means enlighten. All right. So this is why it's important, man. We we follow the instructions given of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this is uh, Hebrews 11. And I think I'll start at verse 13. Um, um, oh, Salakia. Hebrews 1. Hebrews 1 and uh, 13. This is Hebrews 1 and uh, 13. And we're going to read down to verse uh, 14. This is Hebrews 1 and uh, 13. It says, But to which of the angels said, He at any time sit on the right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? Read that again. Verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Right. You know, opening, you know, open. The uh, understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man. You know? So this is why we have to apply um, these Scriptures, man, to to our spiritual walk, man. You know, that's why the brothers always say, you know, be spiritual. You can't be carnal out here. You cannot be carnal out here, man. This is Revelations uh, 3 and 18. It says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire 
that thou mayest be rich in white remnant remnant that thou mayest be clothed and that the same that the shame of thy nakedness uh, do not appear and anoint thine eyes with in anoint thy eyes salakia with eyes eyes salve that thou might see all right and the gold is talking about the men of the heavenly father all right the gold represents the true men of the lord all right the white remnant is talking about the knowledge that's talking about putting on righteousness all right and the eye saw the eye saw if i'm saying it right all right it's uh talking about your spiritual eye all right and uh we're gonna go to uh psalms um 19 and 8 so this is why again these scriptures um you know, Yahweh Shai, the word is written on Yahweh Shai, Psalms 40 and 7, right? He comes in the volume of the book. So, he's, Yahweh Shai is that example. This is why brothers tell, tell us to be spiritual out here. All right, we are to be spiritual, not carnal, spiritual, you know? Being carnal is going to what? It's going to get you locked up. You ain't going to be able to teach the truth, you know? It says, Psalms 19 and 8, it says, The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart, meaning the mind, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. You see? So the word enlightening means your eyes, all right? It has to start with the ministries, you know, the ministry spirits in order, you know, for you to be spiritual. So remember, be spiritual always. Always be spiritual, all right? We got to be spiritual, man. That's, that's, this, is the, this is the blessing of Yahweh Bashimashai to, to be in the truth. So you, you want to, you know, be that example, you know, also to the believers, man. Be spiritual because the ministry, you know, you got sheep out there. This is Psalms 119 to 30. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. The word gives you enlightenment, man. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up with this precept right here. We're going to go to, uh, uh, is it Ephesians? No, it's Galatians. Salakia. Galatians uh, 5, and I'll start at verse 16. This is Galatians 5 and 16. It says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. See? So you got to walk in the Spirit. We got to be spiritual. All right? Like I said earlier in the lesson, all right? What does it mean to be spiritual? All right? The, the you know, the, uh, you know, to be spiritual all right, is, is applying to the scriptures, man. Follow the instructions of the scriptures. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was that perfect example. All right. Verse 17, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other. And that word contrary means opposite to. All right. So opposite of the spirit, opposite of being spiritual is carnal. Opposite of carnal is spiritual. All right. So you don't want to be fleshly. You, you want to be spiritual, man. All right. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Verse 18. But if you, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, and these are the works of the flesh, the things of the flesh, which are these: adultery, fornication, un uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Verse 21, envying, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So you walking after the things of the flesh, right? Hey, you're going to be destroyed. This is why we ask the Lord for mercy and we repent. Because scriptures say pray without ceasing. All right, the scriptures say we also as a, as as filthy rags, you know, so we have to pray without ceasing and we have to repent daily, you know, ask the Lord for mercy, you know. Verse 22, it says, but the fruit of the spirit is joy. This is the fruit of the spirit, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness and faith. You see that? So that's what it's about, man. Verse 25, if ye live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So you got to be spiritual. All right. So again, you know, this lesson was titled as be spiritual. What does it mean? That's what it means to be spiritual. You don't want to be carnal in the truth. You want to be spiritual. All right. You got to be an example to the sheep.
to the believers out there. All right. So, hey, Lord Wellness Lessons that are fine. I want to give our honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yashai, Bahashim, Mahawa, Kakodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad. Put your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razakar from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord Wellness Lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, shalom.